Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I love you for watching me. If you're a first time, welcome. If you're me, welcome as well. So today I'm just here to read so you guys a quick scripture. We'll talk about it and we'll be done, okay? So my scripture reading is going to be coming from the book of Art 9. I'm going to start from verse 10. And it says, There was a certain disciple of Damascus named Ananias. And so him said the Lord in the vision, Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here at the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to go to verse 11 and the Lord said unto him arise and go into the street which is straight and inquire in the house of Judas um, for one called Saul of Tasha for behold he prayed okay guys I'm gonna go to verse 12 says and had seen a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting in his hand his hand on him that he might receive his sight then Ananias answered the Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he had done to that sent at Jerusalem. And there he had um, authorities from the chief priests to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy ways, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings. And the children of israel okay so i'm going to be reading from verse 16 guys for i will show him how good thing he must suffer for my name's sake and 17 says and ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hand on him and said brother saw the lord even jesus that appeared unto thee in the way as thou had come it had sent me that thou might receive that sight and be filled with the holy ghost and 18 says, and immediately there fell down his eyes as it had been skilled, and he received his he received his sight water, and arose and was baptized. 19 says, and when he had received meat, he was strengthened. Then was saw certain days with the disciples, which were um, at Damascus, and straightway he preached Christ in the synagogue, that he is the Son of God. Okay. But all that heard him were amazed and said, It's not this he that destroyed them which call on the name in Jerusalem and came hither for that intent, that he might bring them bound into the chief priests. Okay, guys? So when God visits people, when God visits you and I, things change for us. When God visits us, it's mighty transformation. Okay? God does not visit you and i and we remain the same wherever god is there has to be change okay god visited paul and paul received his sight paul was blind and god gave him his sight he opened the eyes of the blind he healed the sick and he raised the dead he's a god of new transformation okay so paul was going around killing believers that talk about christ Paul was going around doing all manners of evil thing. Okay, but when it was time for God to visit him, because God has chosen him from the foundation of the earth, and he was going to speak for his word, and he was going to, going to preach his word to the lost and deliver those that are kept in bondage. Okay, so when God visited Saul, things changed around for Saul. He received his sight. He was delivered and he's going around he, he went around doing mighty works for the holy spirit okay so do not despise your small beginning no matter what you are god can lift you up from there and changes your situation and do mighty and greater work in you god can save a sinner god can save a, a arm robber god can save a thief god can um save those that are bound and chained from the enemy he can save and deliver you you just have to believe and surrender your life to him and give him your all he will save you and do mighty work for you okay so when god come in you and our situation our situation is not going to remain the same he's the god that changes things around he's the god that turn dead things and bring it alive okay so if you, you think your situation is dead stinky and smelly that you can never um be restored or you can never move from where you are that's not true god can change your situation we just have to believe in jesus and surrender your lives to him and he will turn things around for you and i will have to keep believing and trusting him okay god can visit you in an instant and everything will turn around for your good god can visit your family in an instant and everything will change okay okay he's a mighty guy he's an awesome guy he do 
great, greater and great works, okay? So when God visited Saul, everything changed around for Saul. Saul that used to be once a thief, he starts stealing. Saul that used to be a serial killer, you know, there's so many serial killers out there, I pray God save and deliver you. He turned his life around for Jesus. He was going around preaching the gospel and sent the captives for delivering souls and telling them how good and mighty Jesus is. He wrote half of the, the scriptures in the Bible. Okay, so when God visits you and the Irish transformation, you just have to believe. When God visits you and now he's doing a new thing in our lives. So you're never too far away where God cannot reach you. God can go to the depth of hell and pick you up and raise you up and change your life around, turn your life around for the best. But you just have to believe in God and trust in him. Okay, and continue to read his scripture and continue to stand up for his word and his promises in the Bible. Okay, guys. Guys, awesome. God always depend on him. Okay, always trust in him. And he will do mighty works in you and our lives, okay? So no matter where you are, I want you to know that if you're not in a good situation, your life is messed up, the book busted and disgusting, you think you have no hope, you have hope in Christ Jesus. You just have to trust in him, believe him, and surrender your life to him. And he will meet you where you are and change your situation for the best and turn your life around and make you a disciple like he did with Paul, okay? So Paul was once a killer, now he has become an, a great apostle of God. So if you are not living right, I encourage you to turn your life around and give your life to Jesus. And God will change you from the inside and out and use you for his glory. Okay, he'll do mighty work in your life, okay? So God appeared to Ananias. He said, go to Paul. His name I saw at that time. Um, I have visited him. Well, I'm about to visit, visit, visit him. Go and minister to him and go and heal his eye so he can see and know that I am God and I'm about to do greater work in his life, okay? Even Ananias was afraid because he heard about what Paul was going around doing to believers, okay? He did not want to go. But God said, go there. I have changed him. I have greater purpose for his life. I'm about to turn his mess into a testimony. I'm about to do a greater work in his life. Despite what he has done, despite, do not despise your small beginning, guys. No matter what you have done, no matter where you have been, God knows you and I better than we know ourselves. He can change our situation around. He can heal us. He can deliver us. He's almighty God. He's able to do everything. Okay? So do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on your family. God can meet you just where you are and reach you just what you are and change your story around for the best and give you hope in the future. Okay? He's awesome and wonderful. Okay, guys? So I just want you to keep hoping and believing. For the best is he has to come for you. And no matter what you've done, God can change it for your good. No matter how many evil you have sin you have committed, God can wash you clean and set you free. Okay? So just continue to focus on him and believe in him and repent and turn away and God will do greater works in your life. Okay, guys? So this is your great email. Just a short scripture. I encourage you to read the book of Art always and you'll learn a lot from that scripture as well, guys. How God transforms, how God changes things, how God do mighty works in people's lives. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you this opportunity. Like I always say, life is short, tomorrow is not promised. Okay? So if you die, you don't know where you're heading tomorrow. But if you surrender your life to Jesus and give your life over to him when you die, you know you're going to meet the all creator of the universe. You will change your life around for the best. So say, Lord Jesus, I feel you coming to my heart. Make me your own. Wash me clean. Forgive me for every sin. Okay? Write my name to the book of life. I say bye-bye to the world. Have your way in my life. Lead, guide, and direct me. I'm your child and you're my father. And I confess you as my Lord and Savior now to the end of the world. Simple as that, guys. You're saved and delivered. Okay? Live your life with God. Find a Bible believing church and go so you can keep hearing the scripture. And your life will continue to be changed and transformed to the power of the Holy Ghost. It's your girl, Ina. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you again for watching. Please hit the notification button so when I do a new video, you know that I've done so. And comment as well, guys. Let me hear from you. Bye. I love you. See you next time. See you in my next video. Stay connected. <laughs>